Hello, we're in the office of Kevin Kelly, the Chief Executive Officer of Hydric and Struggles. Kevin, thanks so much for your time. Thanks, it's great to be here. What are your aspirations for the meeting in your capacity of co-chair? I think uh, my aspirations would remain quite simple. It would be building off the last World Economic Forum meeting in January in Davos and also building off the momentum of the G20 summit that just occurred last week. We have an opportunity now in three months more of data to come together and collectively find solutions to challenges and problems revolving around this crisis that none of us as leaders have coped with before. So it's sharing our experiences as people that are current leaders around the globe in different organizations, governments, countries, etc., while simultaneously hopefully coming up with solutions that we all feel good about moving forward. How would you define the essential leadership qualities of a business person in the Middle East? Well, I think that as we become more global and we see that business practices, whether they're from Asia or whether they're from Europe, the Middle East, United States, all meld together, and we get an amalgamation of uh, leadership skills and traits, what I would see is that individuals in the Middle East, particularly in leadership roles, have not only the ability to drive their organizations on a domestic basis, but at the same time work with leaders of other organizations to help understand the cultures, intricacies, and ways of doing business across the globe. What leadership models are emerging in these times of crisis? Well, I think those leaders today have to be much more adaptable and flexible. And what we saw evolve last September with the credit crisis was also a leadership crisis. And things not only changed on a weekly basis, but they were down to daily and, and, and hourly changes. And trying to keep your hand on the organization as you go through these times of change, significant change, is somewhat daunting for any leader, let alone one who's running an organization that's global in nature. So what we're finding is not necessarily new leadership styles that are emerging, but actually looking at the toolkit that you possess as a leader and pulling pieces out that are actually going to help you effectively run the organization, short term and long term. Simultaneously making sure that you engage your employees, you keep morale high in the organization, and you show them a clear course in which your company is trying to embark on to make sure that everyone's rowing in the right direction. What impact has the economic crisis had on, on the Middle East, and what is your forecast for the coming year? Well, I think that uh, the economic impact in the Middle East, if you take a step back and look 12 to 18 months ago, it used to be this notion that if America catches cold, the West rest of the world would catch a flu. And I think we're proving that true because we are all intertwined today uh, much more than we thought so before the economic crisis kicked in. And I think we as an organization in the World Economic Forum believe that 2009 is going to continue to be a very difficult year and we'll probably see this in the first half to three quarters of 2010. So we're hoping that again collectively we can come up with some solutions, some way to maneuver through this together and uh, get through the next 12, 18, 24 months together. Kevin, thank you for your time. Thank you.